Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be taking on the new Universe 6 Extreme Super Battle Road stage that just dropped on Global. Now, before we jump in, let's take a quick look at the team. We got the Double Tech Hits as our leaders, along with the LR Kaelin Khalifla, the Fizz Berserk Kale, Tech Khalifla, STR Kale, and finally, the Int Vados. For the items, they're the same as always. We got the Whis, Icarus, Aider, and Princess Snake. So, with all that said, let's jump right in and get this run started. Um, okay, so this is not an ideal first rotation. We got both hits right here. And as you guys might know, hit is a really bad slot one unit. Um, he basically gets no defense in slot one. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, put the Khalifla in slot one. Uh, one of the hits is not going to get any links, but this is the only way we'll survive. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, actually, I'm going to put my hit in the second slot since I think it's slightly better. And as far as items go, I don't think we need an item because Alifla will be dodging all the attacks. Oh, you know what? Actually, I take it all back. I take it all back. It looks like we got the stun passive, the stun all passive for hit, so we actually don't have to worry about any attacks this turn, so we're good to go. Okay, never mind. So let's uh, go for Krillin first, of course, with the type of advantage, although I think we get guaranteed crits if the enemy is stunned. Um, let me just quickly check. No, it's not a crit, but it's attacks effective against all types, so yeah, we'll be doing damage regardless, and let's go for... I guess 18, and then let's go for 10 with the other hit. Okay, so we're off to a great start. Off to a great start, aside from the fact that uh, I missed the stun in the beginning. But uh, yeah, otherwise, looking really good. Looking really, really good, starting off with 6.2 mil. I kind of forgot how much of a beast the tech hit can be. Um, yeah, in the right situation, you know, on the right event where you can stun the enemy, uh, the dude's a monster. The dude is a monster. So we took out Krillin with one attack, and I'm pretty sure Tien is dead as well. I mean, I'd be surprised if he survives this attack, honestly. Uh, is he alive? No, he's dead. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right. So um, on this turn, I think it might be a good idea to item. Um, yeah, I'm not concerned about the Kale and Khalifla and the Kale, honestly, but it's the Vados at the end. If she doesn't dodge, then she's actually pretty squishy. So yeah, we'll go for the Icarus just to be safe. And let's attack Piccolo with Kale. Um, let's attack Roshi with the Yellen Khalifla, and then we'll go for 18 with the Bados. Okay, so with guard, you know, still took about 10k with the Icarus, so we do have to be a little bit careful, I think, with the Kale, since before she stacks up, um, her defense is actually <laughs> kind of low, right? Um, the great thing is that she does launch multiple supers every turn, so she does build up pretty quickly as well. This super attack, I think, might do some damage. Maybe like 50 to 100k. Yeah, okay, so a little bit more, once again, than I was expecting. But not bad. It's a good thing we did pop the Icarus, though, because... You know, that turn could have been... A lot, a lot worse than what it was. All right, so of course, Killing Khalifla doing their thing. Multiple supers every turn as well. Um, hopefully take out Piccolo. That'd be great. Okay, no. Piccolo's still alive, all right. So Vados could potentially get supered by Piccolo, maybe. 
We're good. Okay, we're good. We made it. All right. So uh, I'm thinking that. Hmm. Okay, one sec. Let me just quickly check what Khalifa does with a kale on rotation. Um. Oh, it's the it's just the additional super, right? Or the additional attack. It has a medium chance to become a super. Okay, so we don't need the killing Khalifla on rotation then. I was thinking like maybe we should keep um, you know these two together, but I think it actually is more beneficial to uh, keep the hit for damage, right? So we'll take out Piccolo with Khalifla, and then hit should annihilate Android 18, and then we can move on. And I guess I'll just have the uh, Berserk Kale as a floater um, for, for tanking purposes, of course. And some damage too, but she's not going to out damage the hit. So I think having hit on rotation still makes the most sense for us to get through this stage as quickly as possible. Yeah, this should be good. 6.2, there we go. 6.2 mil. Attack's effective since she's stunned, right? And uh, there we have it. Okay, so... That was the first fight, second fight against, it looks like Blue Goku, and oh my god, a bunch of people. Okay, can we get the stun again? <sighs> Unfortunately, this time we didn't get the stun, so I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to put hit in the last slot. Let's go for a Whis. Okay, that's, I think, a good move, and... Once again, type of Anges, right? So let's go for Vegeta with the Kale, uh, Goku with the Kale and Khalifla, and then I guess Frieza with the Tech Hit. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hopefully, we don't take like five supers. Um, because that. Ooh. Wait, he's Fizz, right? No, he's not. He's AGL. Yeah. That was rough. That was rough. So, yeah, hopefully we don't take, like, you know, five supers this turn. Because I'm not sure if we can actually survive a super from every single enemy. It's it's uncommon, right? It's, it's pretty rare that happens, but it's happened before where, like, every single enemy supers me on a turn. And uh, if that happens, it might be over, guys. It might be over. Okay, so we did get like four supers off, I think. So we should be pretty tanky, as you can see. So that's that's great. And I'm hoping these girls can take out Goku at least. We don't have to worry about his super. Oh yeah, we should be able to. Okay, yeah, we should we should get like at least one or two more supers, right? I think I think at least one more super after this, and Goku should be dead. Yeah? Oh, he's dead anyways. Okay, so maybe we can kill Vegeta too. That would be the best case scenario. Okay, so we take out both Goku and Vegeta. And then there's only three enemies to worry about. There we go. Okay, so triple supers. Vegeta is dead. That was clutch. Super, super clutch. And there you go. Okay, so we just got Gohan, 17, and Frieza. But I think Frieza's going to be done here too. So just Gohan and uh, 17. No, okay, so Freeze is still alive, but he's stunned. And now everyone's stunned. Now everyone's stunned. Okay, so let's do it like this. I'm going to kill... Yeah, let's go for 17 first. We'll take him out, and then we can probably kill Frieza. Uh, if not with Khalifla, then definitely with Khalifla and Vados. Okay, yeah, I gotta I gotta be honest, guys. I really enjoy that that stun animation. Um, <laughs> it's very basic, right? It's very basic, but I don't know, man. Just something about it is very satisfying. It's a very satisfying animation to see. Okay, so Frieza still alive, but like I said, Frieza should die to both Vados and Kale's attacks. There he goes. Okay, now we only have to worry about Gohan. And, um, okay, so if Gohan supers us, I still think it's kind of dangerous. I still think it's, 
you know, not 100% will survive that. So I'm just going to play it safe, guys. You know, first run, I'm going to play it safe. Let's get it done. We'll use the item. I don't think we had to, but you never know, man. You never know. Okay, never mind. We definitely did not need the item. But once again, yo, better safe than sorry. Um, if you have super, super dust before we got a chance to attack, you know, he could have done some damage. He could have done some damage. But now that we, you know, got the multiple supers, um, you know, even if a super came after we attacked, it would have been just fine with no item. But, you know, I like to play it safe, man. I like to play it safe. Okay. So one last fight, guys. It's been pretty efficient so far. Um, I've used a few more items than I thought I needed, but I mean, realistically, I didn't need that many items. I just wanted to make sure we got through it. And oof, okay, so this is gonna be rough. We got both hits again. We did not get the stun this time. We did not get the stun this time. Um, and also, we don't get a guaranteed do uh, dodge with um, with the the Khalifla because she only dodges use Universe Survival Saga or Pure Saiyans. But now we do get eight percent for every Universe Six or Pepigas category ally on the team, which. Um, I think gives her, you know, like around a 50% chance or something like that. Is that how the math works out? Something like that. I don't know. Either way, she does have a chance to dodge right now, but it's not guaranteed. So if she doesn't dodge, then that could also be rough. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to have to play it like that. I'm going to go for... Uh... Oh, screw it. I'm gonna double item. <laughs> Cause this is just a really bad rotation, guys. It's a it's a really, really bad rotation. So we're gonna double item. Uh we're gonna go for Whis and try to kill him so that we only have to worry about the the Beerus after. Um Okay, nice dodge right there. Beautiful. It got hit there, that's fine. But yeah, a uh, Beerus super. If we hadn't, I I think if we hadn't double itemed um, on any of these guys, it would have been devastating. You know, it would have been a really rough time. So I stand by my decision. I think that was the right call, guys. I think that was the right call. Uh, double super on Whis. We get a crit, maybe. Come on. No, we got the stun, though. Perfect. Oh, you know what I should have done? I just realized I should have gone for both Whis and Beerus with the hits, right? Like one per enemy so that we had a chance to maybe stun both of them. Okay, so this is... I mean, it should be okay, actually. Yeah, 109k. Look at this, man. Yo, with double items. With double damage reduction items, he still took 100k. That's... That's kind of ridiculous. That That is just a little bit ridiculous, I gotta say. All right, um, should we kill, let's kill Whis, yeah, I think, I think that's the move. I think killing Whis is the move, so we only have to worry about Beerus. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, we should be fine. Like, I'm not worried about not completing, uh, completing this stage, right? I know for a fact that we're going to beat it. It's just, you know, uh, I'm scared. Um, of Beerus, man. I, I know the guy hits hard. I mean, to take 100k with both both a Whis and active, sorry, a Whis and Icarus active is wild. <laughs> that, 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 that was wild. So, yeah, I think we made the right call. And please die, Whis. Oh, he's still alive. Okay. Still alive. So that means... Well, at least he's sealed. Hopefully this... Guys, realize there's some sibling on sibling violence right here. Man, Bottles does literally negative damage. She does negative damage. Okay, well, at least Whis is, once again, um, sealed, right? So, we don't have to worry too much about him. Um, we do have to be concerned about... 
uh, Beerus supering us still. So let's go for a Princess Snake. Okay. And uh, let me think, let me think. Okay, so we can definitely do some nice damage to Kale right here. Or sorry, with Kale to, to Beerus. And then we should be able to kill um, Whis, and then hopefully we stun Beerus. Hopefully we stun Beerus. Yeah. Okay, well, this shouldn't be too bad. Oh wow, she dodged it. That's crazy. <laughs> that was clutch. That was clutch. Although, I don't think that super would have actually hit that hard, because we got the 60% damage reduction. You know, so... We probably would have been fine. We probably would have been fine. But... i still rather... Get the dodge. And find out if we were going to be fine or not, so... Yeah, good job. Good job, kill. Good job, kill. Okay, um... Oh my god, yo, Whis just refuses to die, that's crazy. Whis refuses to die. Okay, stun Beerus. Stun Beerus. Let's go. Let's go, alright. Okay, so, um... Oh, they're both stunned, wow, wow. okay. Uh, let's do it, let's do it, boom. Whis is dead. And now, Beerus is dead either way. If it's not to kill in Khalifla, then it's going to be to hit. Uh, oh, we got a token attack. Okay, let's get this token attack off, I guess. If I had known we were going to get a token attack, I would have given it to... Well, hit, probably. Because, uh, you know, enemies are both stunned. You probably would have killed both, but it's fine. It's just going to take us a little bit longer with this Kale super attack. Uh, we'll kill Whis here. Uh, and then, you know, the other two will take care of Beerus as well. Or maybe Kale can solo both. And there's a chance if we get, like, a couple of additional supers here. Never mind. Well, this should do it, guys. This should do it. Here we go. Nope. Nope, I lied. I li okay. So, they're not gonna kill him, but hit. There we go. You know what? It makes sense. Hit was definitely, I would say, the MVP of this run. Um, the thumbnail was already made before I, I recorded this, so it's Kelly Khalifla, of course, on the thumbnail. But looking back, it should have been Hit. I mean, I didn't respect the man uh, enough or, or give him the respect he deserves. Because he was definitely the most useful unit on this run, but... Uh, it's just been so long since I've used him that I kind of forgot, you know, um, what he can do, what he what he was about. So that's my bad. That run took a lot longer than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be like a 10 minute run, but it ended up taking like almost 20 minutes, which is yeah, kind of crazy. But anyways, there you have it, guys. We got the Universe Six Extreme Super Battle stage out of the way. Let me know in the comments. How you guys dealt with it, what teams you used, how long it took you, whether you found it to be hard or just kind of, you know, average. And uh, that's it. That's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.